Woke up this morning, think I'm about to go some of the day. Best friend got caught up when I stayed in Douglasville. Hey everyone, what's going on with y'all today? I got Atlanta Boy, the merch. So, this is what we rocking this year. We are Atlanta boys, we are Atlanta girls, we are Atlanta people. We represent where we from, and I'm from Atlanta. So, y'all should be getting some merch with the Atlanta boy. Or y'all can call me Tario. If y'all do get the merch, y'all can text me on Tario underscore 3000, and I will shout you out and post you. This is all the merch right here. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at the art print. Okay, look at the Gatwalk. We don't really mess with galaxies here. We iPhone gang, but, but it's okay if you do have a galaxy or a samsung we do not discriminate you know that being said go ahead and get yours at redbubble.com peace what's good joe welcome back to another video today we got childish game being on kanye west and getting dissed by asap rocky this came out in 2013 so it's very old i bet they're cool by now they both are legends in the game just be honest with you i feel like i'm clear i write my i write best at in the morning I wrote 3005 in the morning. Really? Like, and all, all the good songs, I feel like. All the songs where I'm like, I don't even come up with that were just like probably like remnants from dreams or something. Why do you think? Is it because, because you told me that you... Because you... you're closer to not being like, I don't know, like not feeling the pressure of everything. I feel like, I feel like when you first wake up, like you're still close to like who you really are. So 3005, what's it about? It's funny because I've been reading comments and everybody's like, it's a love song, obviously. Like, a love song. I'm just like, it's not a, it's like one of the sadder, like, I feel like songs not about anything. It's just about like, it's kind of an existential thing. Like, it's just like, kind of like, I don't really, like, I just don't want to be, I'm really scared of being alone. Like, I'm really scared of like, what is this supposed to be? I don't know, like, when I was little, there was a big dog down the street and I was really scared of it, but like when I was with my sister, when I knew I had to protect her, like I wasn't afraid of the dog as much because mm. I was just like, I was somebody was there. Like I had a purpose. I feel like my parents had that, or their parents had that. Like I know what they knew what they were supposed to be doing. I kind of felt lost. I kind of like lost that. I feel. So when did you start working on this album? I don't believe in albums. I don't no? want to do albums. No, I don't. I really don't. And I know that sounds like really lame and. I think pretentious and kind of like gross. I'm just like, I don't do albums. <laughs> but I, I don't want to do albums, especially now if you're going to put out a body of work, it should be like an experience that's like, cause yeah. you can do, it's easy to do that now. Like it's so, like, I don't think Kanye puts out records. Like he puts out like whole things, like there's projections and there's this, there's this uh, show that goes with it and there's this booklet that goes with it. And it's like, it's, it's I want to make like worlds and stories that people can live in for like years if they wanted to. What do you think about him and like his last album and everything going on in his life right now? I always, I mean like I always thought he was a genius. I love Kanye. I think he's like the, the best. Not even just like on music level because I don't, I don't, I try not to just be like he's a musician or like he's a rapper or like that because I think that's, that holds people back. I think he's just, he's one of like, he's like a prophet. He's like, he pushes, he it makes people like want to be better, to, to be better and work harder and push all of us forward. And I, I think it, it, it's kind of sad that people don't let him do what he wants to do because I think he could help us a lot. I love it when he was like, he's like, you know, we're all gonna die, like live like that. Like no one lives like that. We have like the ability to do that and no one does it. It's crazy. It's like really weird and sad to me. But he has like no fear. So when you step into something new, there's always obviously people that are like scrutinizing or judging or whatever. I'm probably the most insecure person I know. A lot of people feel that way. That's the thing is like, Pretending like you're not like that, like that's too much work. I could never be ASAP Rocky. Yeah. Like, like I could never be him because like it's just too much confidence in himself. Like I'm not that. It was funny because like yesterday he kind of like he sneak dissed me, but also gave me props, but gave himself props at the same time. He was like, I know you want to be me, but it's funny because I want to be you, which I was like, that is the most awesomest diss slash awesome yeah. cool thing. But like that's the thing. I could never say that to anyone. I just don't feel that way. Mm. That's interesting. Yeah, like, it's good to be very self-confident at bad times. People, I realize that about certain artists. They, 
they be all in the limelight, but in the real life, in the real world, what they really want to be is behind closed doors. They only want to be in front of all the cameras all the time. So I get that. And Childish Gambino, he's in his own world. He don't really have to be in front of no one. He just lived his life. It was beautiful. And yes, I believe albums should be experiences. Should have lookbooks. Should have stuff that did makes you a lot more in tune with the album. You know? That being said, let me know what you think about Childish Gambino on Kanye West and getting dissed by Seth Rocky. That was kind of funny, but kind of cool. That's a very great diss. That's a good diss. But let me know in the comments below. Peace. Ariel the Poet.